Hi, I am Melanie Stefanis once again, and this is my YouTube channel. This is Soul Art. So as I said before, I wanted to do a couple, show you a couple different uh, projects. I'm going to be trying to do a project uh, every couple weeks. Um, so this is going to be my first one. This is an introductory project. This is going to be two things that you might want to keep on you while you do these projects. So they're not going to be full pro, this one's not going to be a full project. It's just going to be like what you can do to begin these projects, a place you can keep them. So first of all, I want to introduce the idea of a happy playlist. So you can do it anyway. And this isn't a totally new um, idea, but music can oftentimes just lift you up. You know, have you ever felt a good song that you love? It, it really affects your mood. Now you can listen to really sad songs and they just, and there, there's nothing wrong with sad songs. For me, uh, I used to, when I was uh, first experienced, experiencing depression, I would put on the saddest song. I put on Linkin Park, I put on the Rasmus, I put on uh, Evanescence, uh, Skillet, uh, and all those sad, the sad bands. Um, and I would just listen to them and they really affected my mood. They also affected the kind of art I made, which is absolutely fine. If you, I mean, the trick is don't let yourself drown in the music for too long. If you need some sad music, that's absolutely fine. Just to feel understood, just to feel like you can vent, to cry, to get out some art. Fine. But once you're done listening to that sad playlist, what I need you to do is bring out your happy playlist. Now you can do this anyway. You can use, if you want to use Spotify, if you have a Spotify account, go ahead and make a playlist with your happiest songs. Um, if you have a CD burner on your laptop, go ahead and put your favorite songs on there, the songs that lift you up, um, and make a CD. Now I have a, <laughs> I'm kind of old school, even though I'm only 27. Um, I came out, I, when I was younger, I was just coming out of the we as in the, <laughs> we're just coming out of the era of mixtapes. So I kind of missed the um, ability to make mixtapes because I was so young. Well, at certain, um, at some drugstores, they actually do still sell uh, blank cassette tapes that you can record on. And on eBay, I was able to find a cassette recorder um, and I just press record and I can make my own playlist off of YouTube. You can even use YouTube by the way, just make your own playlist on YouTube and it's absolutely fine. Whatever you want. Now, here's a, a, a CD that was made for me and this is the, the first happy play, uh, playlist that I ever got was one that I didn't make myself. Now, I do have a couple that I made myself, but this is my favorite one. This was made for me by my husband and his and my mother-in-law. It's called Phoenix and Owls. Uh, Phoenix because I really relate to the Phoenix as I'm someone who never stays down for long. I'm always dying and re rebirthing um, in a symbolic way. You know, I'm, I'm always... I never let myself die and not come back to life. Owls. My husband loves owls, so that was that's their playlist that they picked. The name that they picked, and they have songs that they both picked. So, for the Phoenix uh, list, they picked "This Is Me" from The Greatest Showman, uh, "Skyscraper" by Demi Lovato, "Little Wonders" by Rob Thomas, "Let It Go" by Demi Lovato from the Frozen. Um, album Try Everything by Shakira that's one of my favorites Roar by Katy Perry Why Worry by Set It Off Blackbird by Nani and Come Alive by Hugh Jackman and The Greatest Showman now on the other side or same side on the CD but the, the, the now this is a list that my husband had chosen that's True Colors by Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake from the Trolls movie Unconditionally by Katy Perry, Into the Storm by Banners, Hallelujah by Jason Castro, A Million a Million Dreams from the uh, 
Greatest Showman movie, uh, Home by Philip Phillips, and F and Perfect by Pink. So these are songs that they felt that. So this is a gift for me. Uh, that they felt that would really resonate with me as well as lift my spirits. And that's something you can do for yourself. I've done the same thing, like I said. I've used a lot of these songs that they gave me on my playlist. Um, if you even have a um, artist that you love to listen to that you that really lifts you up, make a whole playlist or just go on Spotify and listen to nothing but that artist. For me, um, it's Michael Jackson. So I grew up on Michael Jackson. My dad played him for me uh, all the time when I was younger. I was hooked on his music, but now it's more than just that I love the music. What Michael Jackson music, Michael Jackson's music represents to me was a time when everything was so easy. I was little. I, I could rely on my parents for everything and nothing mattered. I wasn't depressed. I wasn't, I didn't have anxiety. And so it's a lot of uplifting music also tied to the fact that it just was an easier time for me. It's the association I have. So if you have an association with a certain uh, song or a certain uh, uh, artist if, if that brings you good memories, put it on your playlist. It's absolutely wonderful. I, I, whenever I've been in a dark, uh, depressive mood, my husband loves putting on Michael Jackson just for me so I can listen to it and it lifts me up just a little bit. It may not get me completely out, but it lifts my spirit just a little bit enough to keep fighting. Here's another thing. I want to help you make uh, an art therapy kit. So this is my art therapy kit that I carry with me some places. It is actually originally a large makeup bag. So it's like a box, it's wide, it's colorful, and it's got a strap so I can always take it with me on trips, on adventures, uh, to anywhere that I feel like it'll be appropriate. So like if you're going to go visit family for a week, for, uh, for a couple hours, I wouldn't bring it there. But if you're going to visit family for like a week, you're going to stay with them, you might want to bring it just to be with, just to have something to do on your off time it's uh, or if you go camping or if you go on a trip or something bring it and just carry it with you now here i'm going to show you what's inside to start this is my art journal an art journal is an excellent thing to have to keep your art uh, projects in so I decorated it with stickers and stuff like that. I painted it to be let's be colorful, create just all everything that I feel is important is create. Let's see what's in here. So this was a dark time. It's not even very good. See, it's not it's not anything special. Oh no, something got stuck. Sometimes that happens if you don't refer to the glue to dry, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate because I really like this next page. So give me just a moment. You know what? It's my book, so I'm going to rip out that page. I don't have to worry about it. It's my decision. See, that's another thing. If you mess up on your art journal, it's fine. Just throw it away. That's the thing about this is it's your book. And just be careful with the, with the glue. <laughs> Obviously, I made a mistake with not waiting for this to dry. But here's one of my pages, now that that's paid up. Escape the fear. We've got butterfly, the cage. So that's me escaping the cage of fear. And that's just a sticker I like. That's from Labyrinth, my favorite movie. Here's some more pages. Now, they don't necessarily have to be symbolic of anything. Sometimes you just really want to make a pretty page. Uh, this is something that I learned also that I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to go over with you later. But just kind of take a look at it. It is blackout poetry. And I'll, I'll go over this at another time. But that's what you're going to see in a bit later. Um... 
here we go here is my dream for a home now see it's not even really really perfect it sucks as an art as a professional art thing but for you all you have to do is have fun and let yourself go in these art pages see and that's it so far i used to have another one um i lost it which sucks because i really loved that one that one was my favorite art it was really full this is a fairly new uh art project uh art journal here's what else i have in here so in here i have these like little pieces of paper you can get them at any craft store michael's is a good one this is where i got my michael's you get like little scrap pages, you get little letters, you get more paper. There's some letter stickers, some more stickers. They have like all these little, and it looks like this. And they have different varieties of them. You go to Michael's in the paper section or the scrapbook section. Uh, this is a little Nilla folder that I keep little scraps in that I want to use for my pages. So here's what's in it. I use, I cut out sometimes from book pages. I know, heresy, right? Books. But these are books that, I'll be honest, they, they I started reading and I decided I didn't like them. So instead of giving them away, I decided to use them as art project papers. So don't hate me for it. If you want to do it, that's great. If you don't, then don't touch your books. These are blue ones and they might look kind of creepy because they're like people black and white people but i'm really into like the vintage look i love the look of old photographs and these you glue in so they're not stickers they're not anything like that you glue them in and i got these at michael's uh also in the scrapbook section and that's pretty much all that i have in here also i have like birds and flowers mostly little people scraps this is what I, I keep my scraps in here so it's very useful to have a small nola folder of some sort a little packet anything you can hold a small little paper container of some sort that doesn't take up too much room we don't want it to be too bulky as a container uh, so that you can keep your scraps in it. Whenever you cut a piece of paper and you have scraps left over, just put it in here. If you find stickers, if you find cutouts that you like, keep them in here. That way it's not taking up too much room in here. Now right, here's what we're gonna look at next. Um, I keep a rag in here because I like to use paint. And I'll show you, we're gonna get to the paint soon. But I always keep a rag um, in here to clean up. Um, I actually keep two rags in here. I'll show you the other one. Um, stamps. I love stamps. So I have also, everything I got is also, honestly from Michaels. Distress uh, uh, ink. So it looks like Michaels. This is Ranger. I think it's Ranger um, brand. I love mermaids, so I have a mermaid stamp. What's cool is with these stamps, um, I also have a black ink pad, but with stamps, you don't even just have to use your ink pads. Uh, you see there's gold on these thing, on these rubber stamps, uh, and you notice I don't have gold stamps. I only have this light linen color and this black color. Well, I use paint. I use wet paint, so I painted it with gold paint, and then I stamped it where I wanted it to be stamped. Um, it was, I used it in my art journal, actually, and it came out with the gold color. You can do that with any color, blue, black, red. Um, I just like gold. I think it stands out more on different pages that I painted. Here's another rag that I told you I keep, too, just... Uh, just a little precaution for myself. Now, here's my favorite part. I mostly work with acrylic paint. 
You can use markers. So here's some markers that I use. Um, they're not in my box because they're relatively new to me. I just recently bought them. But there's, see look, this is also from Michaels. It comes in a little plastic case. You can get any kind of markers though, like washable. It does not matter. These I just pref I just really enjoyed the colors of these markers. So I you can work with markers, uh, but my primary um, thing is acrylic paint. So here, uh, this is a small um, palette very small it fits perfectly in my box underneath the palette i'm going to show you some really cool things it's my acrylic paint set now also my scissors always keep scissors in here in your box so i have lots of paints see now these aren't these don't come this way uh, I actually get the paint from Michaels also. They come in little bottles like this tall. Um, and they're kind of cheap. They're like anywhere between $1 and almost $3. Uh, like this. Uh, and what I did was... This might take a little bit long. I don't know if there's anywhere you can find them else. But these little plastic containers these tiny little containers i ordered them off of amazon all i did was look up uh uh what was a plastic small mini plastic containers i think is what i looked up um i got a packet of them i think they were like 10 per packet and once i got them i filled the each one with a little bit of paint orange and I even have one for glitter. Because I love glitter. This is my pink glitter. Uh, here's some white glitter. And I have one filled with water. It doesn't... See, they're, they don't... They don't drip. What I do with this one... Is basically when I'm on the go... And I always keep brushes in here too. Small brushes, preferably. When I'm on the go... I don't always have a bottle of water with me, so I always make sure to have a little bit of water. You don't need too much. Um, switch it around, not too much, because you don't want to get the water too dirty too fast. See, mine's still, mine, mine isn't like super dark yet, though I should still replace it. Uh, so switch, switch the brush around just so it's a little bit wet, and that's when you use your, the, the rag predominantly. Uh, you'll use it to wipe off the excess paint, the water, and it'll be brand new. That way you can keep painting in your uh, little art journal. So, yeah, there's brushes. And look, I have a lot of paint in here. That's why I love, I definitely recommend, it doesn't have a brand, but if you go to like, uh, I know Ross has them. This one I got from Dee Dee's Discount Store. Um, but anywhere that sells like sh like um, these, I, I, I know Ross and Dee Dee's and maybe the 99 cent store will carry them. But like box, the box type I really recommend is the best type because they have the most room and they're the most contained. It's really great. Um, but yeah, that's going to be where you start, getting your supplies. And you don't have to have too many supplies. I collected these over a few few years. My paints I collected, uh, the plastic things I, I bought on my own. But you can just grab whatever you like. Markers, colored pencils, crayons if you don't feel comfortable with paint. If you love paint, if you would rather have oil, paint oils, if you're really good with oil paint, you can do the same thing with oil paint um watercolors too you can get a little thing of watercolors i'll actually teach you how to make a a mini watercolor case uh that way you don't have to carry a whole big watercolor uh pad and i i learned a little something about how to make a small watercolor case um other than that yeah definitely get 
an art journal. It can be any kind of art journal. It could be a sketchbook, a blank sketchbook. Um, this is a just a craft book. It's not even a sketchbook really that I got from Michaels. It was in the scrapbook section. And there's white paper interrupted by brown paper like anything will work you can get a journal a regular writing journal and then just paint the and do whatever you want in the in the pages um i've seen people use actual old vintage books that they don't use anymore they'll get the book keep all the pages in there and they'll just paint over the pages as they're using them uh cover them with their stickers and everything it's a very beautiful kind of uh, method that I've seen I just I feel weird I know I I destroyed those book pages but I feel weird using an entire book for that so I like I like getting a journal a nice little blank book um other than that that's where we're gonna start uh next time we're gonna probably either do gateway to happiness or what I'm made of so I do look forward to coming back and seeing you all again. And uh, once again, this is for Soul Art. I wanted to bring back the focus to Soul Art. Soul Art is a way to teach everyone, as many people as it can reach, the benefits of art therapy uh, for against um, self-destructive behaviors and co coping skills. Art is a beautiful coping skill. Uh, you don't have to, as you can see, as you saw, you don't have to be good at it or perfect at it or professional at it. Uh, just have fun. Let your emotions run free. It can be ugly emotions, like, okay, like this, the one that I ripped out on accident. So sorry about that. But it can be ugly emotions. I have even, I have, I have some pretty dark, um drawings too that i keep in a different place and if i can find it i'll show it to you um but it's really important that you find your own coping if it's not art anything else sports uh, music uh, uh dancing anything to keep you preoccupied from doing any self-destructive or destructive towards anyone else um in that, well, that being said, uh, I am still trying to fund uh, my soul art project. Uh, if you go to Etsy, I'll put the link in the in the in the description also for my Etsy shop. Uh, Seventy percent of every profit of every purchase will be going to an account that I have created specifically to fund soul art. Uh, so that I can get registration fees paid for it to go to different events. Um, I can get uh, art supplies. Uh, the more funds I re I'm able to make for the account, the cheaper and even maybe possibly free I can make it for everyone to participate. Um, because unfortunately I do still need to make some sort of fee when i make when i bring it to an event just because i need to keep restocking everything and being able to go to more events so i'm barely going to be making a profit if any uh this is all to benefit everyone else who needs to know that there is a better coping skill than self-harm uh or just letting themselves wallow in the hurt i know it hurts i have bipolar disorder it sucks and i know that it's not always gonna easy when you're in that depressive state to even go and get your art journal you don't want to do that all the time i get it i've been there i do that still um but before you reach for anything that can harm you reach for something that can be constructive instead of destructive so once again i'm going to put the link in my etsy link into the description um please share this video spread it around uh i really want this knowledge to reach as many people as possible all right well thank you for watching my video i really appreciate it you have a great rest of your day goodbye